Could this be your loved one in the spirit world? Come and join me as I sketch and communicate with those that have crossed over to the higher side of life. If you like my content, why not like this video and subscribe to my channel. As I blend with the spirit world, a lovely gentleman steps forward. This man as he connects with me would have been in his late seventies as he passes over. Although he shows himself with very little hair, he stated to me to tell his son that he has more hair than him now that he's over the other side. As this gentleman draws closer, he makes me aware that during the last couple of years of his physical life, he contracted prostate cancer. The last few months were so difficult for him and the cancer started to spread around his body. He said to me that he didn't always do himself any favors as often he would turn a blind eye to any health matters that he thought was nothing. He left how unwell he was feeling until it became too late, and perhaps an earlier diagnosis could have made a big difference in his life. He also stated that he did not make the easiest of patients during his treatments and checkups. He just did not like the fuss, and in particular being prodded and poked. He was very old school in his ways, and although he had been a good father, it would have been a rarity to have heard him compliment or show any real affection towards his children. He made it clear to me that he does love his children very, very much, but he should have told them more so when he was on the earth. He is now making me aware of what a great turnout he had for his funeral service. He was moved to tears, hearing the amazing words that his son read out in his memory. He was so impressed how brave and composed his son had been under all the pressure and grief. He was thrilled to see that Audrey came along to his service. He had not seen his sister in a good few years. In their younger years, they were very, very close. He knew that John Denver's Annie song had been played on the outro of his service. He's making me aware that he got the brandy at his wake and chuckled at the huge cigar next to it as he did know that his wife despised the smell but she insisted that it was put there for him. He wanted to say thank you of what was a fitting and beautiful tribute to his life. With a cheeky smile, he shows me how much he loved his wife and only she could put up with him. I know he's trying to reach out to her, to tell her of how much he appreciated her and loved her dearly. Sorry for being a grumpy old so-and-so at times, he's wanting to say to her. You're in my heart, always and forevermore. Through the years, this gentleman had worked in a capacity as a joiner. In his early years, he worked for several firms, but later in life went self-employed. He was a perfectionist in his trade and worked to very high standards.
During his spare time, he loved his DIY projects around the home and spent many hours inside of his workshop. He also loved to hook up his caravan and travel the breadth of the country with his devoted wife. They visited so many places and had a real fondness of the Lake District and Cornwall. He so wants his family to know that he's safe and well and happy on the other side. He's met with all of his ascendants and shared many brandies with them. There had been some names given to me such as Brian, Sean, Susan and Shelley and also a mention earlier of Audrey. I do hope that this finds its way to his family. Till the next time, have a great day.